Uh, what's up world? This is YC Conrad and I'm somewhere here in Africa. Yeah, I just want to tell the world that um, nearly all politicians are just the same. Like nearly all of them. It's only a few of them that can be different but all of them they are just the same, you know? Uh, like in this COVID-19 era, they are all working together. What is happening in other countries is just what is also happening here. Because we know there are fishy things, right? But if there is one that is like indifferent from the rest, that person gets to disappear. The rest, they don't defend him or he dies. You know, those things. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so um, like the reason why I'm saying all politicians are nearly just the same. Let's say different political parties. They are all campaigning. They all come to your places. They tell you, they promise you water, uh, electricity, uh, good living standards, everything. Jobs, that's what they always do. And maybe let's say another political party wins. Another one takes over. You still find out that they will just still postponing. They will just keep giving the same excuses like the other ones. Like, even if you look at these areas, nothing will change. It will just keep on being the same as it always used to be. Because nearly all of them, they are just the same. And like, prior to, to elections, like, they, they always kind of like, they, they always come to your places, you know. They will come and look for you in your houses. They will come there. Even those remote areas, you, you will find them. They will go there and... Uh, give you all these nice talks and promise you stuffs. But after the elections, uh, you hardly see them. You hardly see them or you might not even see them. You just see them on TV. That's all. Uh, giving reports, what, what. And uh, one thing also, like sometimes we think maybe because they're arguing in parliament or because of uh, the, the, the heated debates or just because of the, the, the arguments, the, the, the disagreements that they are having we think that maybe they hate each other like they, they appear to hate each other but they don't they know their game those guys they they are they are good pretenders politicians are, are very good pretenders you know uh, behind the camera behind closed doors you don't know what happened and maybe sometimes they sign deals or so on they are almost the same those guys yeah so um, if you are that guy who's aspiring to change the world here and there, maybe like living conditions, like build people houses, uh, give them recreational facilities, um, yeah, houses, I mean like electricity, yeah, like energy, you know, if you are that kind of person who's aspiring to do that, you don't always have to do it through the medium of politics. You don't always have to be like, uh, maybe like become a councillor or become a president or a governor you don't always have to do that so that you can then be able to do that if you have the means you have the money uh, you can set up an organization uh, where like-minded people can contribute and then you can you can start doing it already like that's my dream also i also want to to do that one day maybe when i have it well uh, i would want to do that because i know how it feels uh, needing electricity needing energy and just wishing if someone can help me with that uh, yeah uh, helping the disadvantaged and also one thing also uh, when it comes to politicians like honestly the way i'm saying most of them they just give excuses they could solve this 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 these are simple conditions that they could solve like you know if if people can go to the moon if people can build taller skyscrapers and if people can go underwater what is preventing these simple problems of just uh, electricity, like energy, uh, water, housing, and all those things? What is preventing that? It's just uh, greediness and purposeful stuffs, you know? I can give an example. Uh, Akon, the Senegalese, the American Senegalese singer, like he, he did a, a solar power project, you know? A power project where he was like giving to people Africans and he gave to millions of people from I think from Senegal going downwards uh, Cameroon Congo DRC and ending somewhere closer to Angola like he, he supplied those people with uh, 
uh, lighting and I mean yeah power energy so I was reading on a source somewhere online they say that if Akon can give that to a millions of people what has all these organizations been doing what has all these governments been doing you see that's what I'm saying these people they just sometimes just give too much excuses too much excuses you can look at my background here. Uh, nearly all these houses, you know, the condition can already tell you that, uh, you know. Yeah, so now we keep on hearing uh, millions of government money getting lost, reports, and uh, nothing used to be done. But if you look at it, those are billions. And they could solve a lot of problems. Like, let's say, th within those monies lost. And if you just take out this, uh, uh, like some money, like a portion of that money, just to solve these problems of the, of the people, of the citizens, maybe it will just be 3% of the money that is lost. But you find the whole money is lost and still people are, are living uh, in inhuman conditions. So yeah, basically that is the message. Like almost all politicians are just the same. Yeah, there can be some that are good, but it's only a few of them that gets to be real. And sometimes the... Uh, the elites, people, the top hogs, they get to eliminate them when they become indifferent from the rest. Yeah, so, yeah, share the video, like, subscribe, signing out.